we were looking uh, for signs of weakening of this uptrend that started a couple of days ago uh, for Bitcoin. Uh, I suggested you to look at the crossing of the price below the moving average 9 period on a time frame of 4 hours and actually what happened when the price crossed below the moving average that we had a um, sudden uh, reaction on the, on the downside but uh, soon after followed by a, a significant rebound uh, up. So now what I see is the price to move for a um, bit of time between these two price levels is around 7.4 and 7.1, 7, 7,000, 1,000 uh, US dollars. So now the price could go sideways a bit. I am more skewed to think uh, that it could uh, uh, slightly um, have a, a downside uh, direction. Let's zoom in now to see uh, a bit closer what is uh, going on in these minutes. I am looking at uh, the 15 minutes now and actually we can see that after the uh, breaking uh, of the moving average the price uh, uh, started to slowly uh, moving uh, on the on the downside so how to take advantage of this uh, uh, setup let's go now on coin rule because this afternoon i started a rule on uh, kraken um, it already traded uh, i sold at uh, 673 euro and i bought back at uh, 666 666 uh, interesting uh, number uh, let's see how i set up this uh, this rule click on edit to see the parameter and uh, i selected uh, that i wanted to sell part of my uh, Bitcoin when the price had an increase of 0.5% within 5 minutes. This is important, this part, because uh, since the price uh, reference to calculate the, uh, the trigger uh, is um, updated every 5 minutes, that gives me the possibility to follow how the price is going. Um, every five minutes I change the price reference and again I calculate the price threshold that would trigger the rule. At the time when the price condition is met, uh, I sell uh, Bitcoin to my Euro wallet and I wait for a price decrease of 1% from the price at which I sold to buy back the Bitcoin. One tip, since uh, I am saying that uh, my scenario could be invalidated if the price increases uh, above 7,400, what I can require from my rule, for example, let's delete all this and let's start back, I want to add another condition that says that in this case, Bitcoin and that coin is the same coin as a price, in this case, lower than $7,400 USD, then I am going to sell I'm going to sell, let's say, for example, $20 of, bit of that coin to my Euro wallet. So if I start uh, my rule in this way, I would optimize even more the strategy because in this way, I know that uh, I am going to sell on price increases, but only if I stays in that scenario of price that goes sideways. If the price increases above 7,400, then I'm not selling because maybe I'm expecting another scenario that I'm going to manage with another rule. So let's see how it goes and uh, trade safe.